In this tutorial, we're going to cover uh, downloading and installing and activating Carvrite Project Designer 2.0. After purchasing Project Designer 2.0, you will receive an email with the download link and your serial number. We're going to click on the download link. It'll open up the page uh, with the downloads and we'll go and download the appropriate version for the operating system that, that we're running. Once it's downloaded, you'll have the installer in your downloads folder. You can simply double click on it to open it up. And then the installer will begin. We'll click next. Now we agree. And we're going to leave the location that is preset for this. We're going to leave that alone, not make any changes. We'll click next again. And then uh, we've got some new install options here. Uh, namely the check for updates automatically so now when the software uh, is running whenever you open it it will check to see if there are any new versions of the project designer software uh, once a day and it will alert you and let you know that there's a new one to download uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a quick launch icon as well and then we'll go ahead with the install the Microsoft Visual C++ is an application that allows the software to run. If it's not already installed on your computer, you are going to want to install it. Uh, on this one, just to be safe, we're going to go ahead and say yes. If you know if it's installed already, uh, you can say no, but it doesn't take that much longer just to install it again. Okay, now the installer will complete the installation. Just take a couple minutes. Okay, I'll hit finish. Now it opens up the README file, which will give you the uh, release notes that will tell you about the, uh, the new version if you want. I just will kind of go ahead and close that down. And then we're going to go and open up Designer 2, which is now showing up in our program name. Okay, when Designer 2 opens, it's going to ask you to register it again. And this is because it's being put in a different folder than your previous version of Carbright Designer. And we're going to need to just uh, reattach it to our customer account. So I can go ahead and just hit click, continue without activating, go to the menu, help menu here, and go to manage licenses. And then with the Manage Licenses, I can go to Update Licenses. We select, I already have a customer account, and put in your username and password. Select Remember Login and Connect Without Prompting. And then give your computer a name. And we'll select Next. And it went and found my account. And then we can hit Finish. Okay, from there we have uh, our installed licenses here, our basic. Now we're still going to need to activate version 2, so we need to click on Activate License, License Online Now, select Next, and we're going to go back to our email with our serial number, and we're going to Highlight that, right click, copy, come back here, right click, paste, and then put in our username and password again. And then it says our additional software licensing was successful. We hit finish, we can close this window out and our software is now installed and activated and ready to go.